Okay, Mitali has just, uh, can you Mitali clarify your point, please? Okay. Okay, I guess some problem is there on the other student side. Fine, we'll go ahead. So this is the example which I was just explaining the same way. So I have I have to create the same thing for button also. I am creating the ID here simply like r dot id dot button now just have to use the keyword like implements because what I'm doing I want to I want to use the click listener here so that when I click on the button it should be able to work can you hear the voice properly can you acknowledge the same who all can hear the voice can you please acknowledge the same okay yep okay cool so this is what I did I am uh, implementing here on click listener because I want to uh, put a click listener on the button now when I put a click listener here then simply I, what I need to do is I am implementing it so on click listener when I put the interface use the concept of interface I have to follow one rule that is I have to implement all the unimplemented methods so I have to use like add unimplemented methods now once you are done that then you have to register the listener with your button set on click listener and you have to this is the line how you will register the listener to your button so that when you click on the button the particular code will invoke now on the click of the button what you want the click of the button you want is first you have to create a string variable let's create a simple string variable str and this string variable we will store the data which we are getting okay I just got a clarification from Nikita Nikita wants to say that in video examples they didn't use this implements part Nikita, uh, Nikita there are two ways to do this either you use a interface directly to do that or you can use the anonymous class to achieve the same for an example the same code which I have registered like button dot set on click listener I would have done it like this button dot set on click listener and within this I can use on click listener that is anonymous inner type class I can use the moment I will use it will come and just this is the way of doing it you might be you might have seen this part to implement it okay so I'm using the other way around both are the ways whichever is suitable you can do it for yourself so I'll take I will be doing it with the help of the first part that is using the implements and then in the string variable what I'm going to do is I will just simply get the value from the edit text so when I want to get the value from the edit text I need to use the edit text object so I'll use this object I'll use this object and then I'll use it I'll try to get the value out of it so let's say get get text dot to a string it will return me the value whatever is there inside the edit text when I click the button okay now what I want is as the bundle is one of the concept which when which we will put the data in bundle we will put the data then finally the bundle itself we will put inside the intent okay so first part is to put the data inside the bundle now before doing that we have ready with our string which has the value from the edit text now create a bundle object simply so let's create a bundle object okay Nikita I got a question what's the question we have not defined any type where what type you are talking about Nikita no they, the, okay you said that for edit text first screen you have not defined the type this is this is a edit text type instance the object of edit text which you are using 
Okay. Yep. Cool. So far, any questions from anyone? Everyone has understood so far? Cool. Let's move ahead and uh, I have the string variable. Now I will create a bundle. So bundle, let's say bundle, I have just simply say bundle is equal to new bundle. I have created the object of the bundle. Now what I want is in this bundle I will put the data. Which data? The string. So I'll say bundle object dot put a string. There is a method put a string which says which takes two parameters a string key and a string value. Now I'll use this method. I'll put the key as edit value. Edit underscore value is the key and the data which I am putting with this key is the str variable which has the value of the edit text. Now my two process is completed. First that I have extracted out the data from the edit text and second that I have put this data inside the bundle. Now what I want is below to this simply I will put the data inside my intent. So I will create an object for intent. Now before going to this part I have to complete other part. I have to be ready with my other activity which I want to invoke with the help of this intent. So whether my activity is ready let's see. The XML file for that activity is ready but I have to create the activity. 